gentlemen, please welcome TM Forum's CEO, Mr. Nick Willits. Well, good morning. Thank you. Thank you and good morning, everybody. Thank you and welcome to beautiful Nice for this year's Digital Transformation World. And what an event we have in store for you this week. Here on the main stage this morning, 11 industry leaders from five different industry verticals, 15% more delegates, six tracks with over 240 speakers from all around the world. No digital transformation event would be complete, of course, without innovation. And we have more exhibitors, innovation trails, and of course, our Catalyst Showcase here this year. 32 projects from over 140 different companies collaborating to drive and deliver real meaningful solutions into a market that so desperately needs them. This is the event for collaboration. This is the event for real conversation. And with new features this year, our campfires, trails throughout the expo to help you navigate complex transformation journeys, I hope you'll walk away from this week not only with new information, but also new colleagues and inspired. A big thank you to all of you who've taken the time out of your busy schedules to join us here this week, but also to our exhibitors, our catalysts, and of course our sponsors without whom this event would not be possible. This is your event and your forum. And it's a very special year for the TM Forum because this year, 29, 2019 marks 30 years of the TM Forum. Starting out in the late 80s with just eight member companies, today we stand with over 800 member organizations and 100,000 member professionals collaborating and working together within the forum to solve the most pressing challenges in our industry. Now, during those 30 years, we've faced many challenges as an industry, many waves of transformation. And time and again, collaboration has proved itself to be the most effective way for our industry to move itself forward and to gain new opportunity. All of this is possible through individuals such as yourselves and your companies working together to shape our industry, and that's what we're here to do this week. So at moments like this, a very special occasion for an industry association, we find ourselves thinking about what might the next 30 years hold? If the last 30 have been around creating a hyper-connected world that our industry has been at the center at, what will be the next 30 years? I believe it will be the next 30 years of creating a hyper-intelligent world, a world where we bring technology ever closer to society. As we move into this 5G era, we stand on the eve of one of the biggest transformations yet. But it's not about 5G. It's not about new devices. It's not about social media or even just the consumer. It's about digitization of every industry and every aspect of society. It's about connecting everything, even living beings, and using that data to understand the world around us in ways we've never been able to before. It's about fusing our human intelligence with artificial intelligence and learning from that to understand how we can cope with some of the challenges for our world over the next 30 years. Population growth, a looming environmental crisis. I believe the technologies we work on and the capabilities we are bringing to the world will help to solve these challenges. If that doesn't give us purpose as an industry, I don't know what does. But we're not here to stargaze 30 years into the future. We're here to talk about the here and now and what needs to happen starting today. Having a North Star in any transformation, having a purpose behind what your company is doing is crucial to succeeding this journey. So much as we can see that there is great purpose in what we're doing, we have to look now at what must change. It's just under three years since the TM Forum started on this journey. We set out a mission three years ago to say, we must accelerate our transformation. We're not moving fast enough as an industry. And we've made real progress in that time. We've delivered the first industry-agreed digital maturity model, being used by companies all over the world, and now in its second generation, to help those companies navigate what is a very complex and difficult journey. We've created an open digital architecture to set the expectations of what our technology looks like in the future and how it will interact within our companies and with others. And we've defined more than 50 open APIs now being used the world over, a 
are mandated by seven out of the top 10 largest operators in the world. We've delivered over 100 Catalyst proof of concept projects in that time that are pushing the boundaries and showing us what collaboration can do. More and more member companies are collaborating in the TM Forum and finding this the most effective way to work together. Change is happening. And for those of us who've been on this journey for a while, it can feel at times painfully slow. When will it happen? Well, in the last 12 months, we've started to see it really happening. If you were at our award ceremony last night, over 100 companies submitted their progress in their transformation journeys, and there's some truly remarkable things happening in this industry. In three years, we have moved from talking about transformation to getting tooled up and getting ready for transformation to now executing on transformation. But it's the next three years that will be the most critical in the deciding the future of our industry. The deck is being shuffled big time. We're in an era where there is new forms of competition arising every day, moving at speeds that often out outpace our traditional way of working as an industry. It's these next three years in which we need to get past the hype around 5G and down to action on what it will take to capture that opportunity. Our place in the future is not a given. We have three years, three years to fix a cost base that's simply too high spending so much money on integration and dealing with legacy that we're not able to invest it in the future. A customer service experience that still is not good enough, in many cases now behind other industries. Three years to fix concept to cash cycles and time to market that is simply far too slow. If we want to play a sustainable role beyond connectivity, but even to maintain the role we have, we need to get radical. Yes, the opportunity is huge. Nobody doubts that, but it's only an opportunity for those who can really transform. Our research shows that over 70% of that opportunity in 5G requires a radical rethink of the operating model. It is time to take our industry off autopilot. Time to take our industry off autopilot. Time to change our approach to operations and IT. Time to change how we work as an industry. The time for discussion has passed. Now is the time for action. Now is the time for a new target. And that's why this year we are launching the open digital framework to collaboratively set that target for our industry. We want to create an open digital framework that builds on the many years of experience in the TM Forum of dealing with these challenges, but reinvents them for the next era. We want to create the blueprint for designing, managing, and delivering digital services in partner ecosystems in which we will reside for the foreseeable future. We want to create a framework that drives a step change in agility, in our cost base, in our customer experience. We need to improve concept cash cycles that in many cases take 18 months to be at digital pace in something much closer to 18 days. Our goal is to revolutionize service provider operating models end to end. We need to go beyond thinking about technology or silo transformation and think about what it takes end to end to make that happen. Just look at our research that we're publishing today around procurement. This industry is wasting over a billion dollars per year just in moving paperwork between companies to procure things. We can work smarter than that. We are smarter than that, and we can do things differently. The open digital framework will create a living framework, not paperwork, not standards, but a living framework for collaboration between companies, and it's already being built today. Crowdsourced and built through innovation between companies, combining the right tools, the knowledge, the essential standards that are needed to transform our ways of working to enable zero-touch partnering and zero-touch interoperability. But this is only possible with all of you. We're launching the framework in what is the 30th year for the TM Forum, and over those 30 years, there's been many times where people have said, what you're trying to do is just not possible. It's not going to work. There's always doubters. There's always a reason why not to change. 
But we have proven time and time again that it is possible. We've shown time and time again that through collaboration we can change this industry. And now is a time where we as an industry need to rally together and drive that change more than ever. So I don't believe I'm being over optimistic when I say that in three years we can make radical change happen. It's time to do it now and it's time to do it to ensure our place in this 5G era. We need to deliver intelligent operations for a 5G world. We need to deliver fundamentally different ways of working. We're moving from an era in the 20th century where it was all about hierarchy and ecosystems and control to an era of self-organization in teams, ecosystems, and creating new opportunities for companies around the world. Three years ago, people thought it crazy when I stood on the stage and started talking about culture. One journalist said, I didn't really understand what he was talking about. Why is culture so important? Well, nobody's laughing now because in every survey we see, and every survey the TM Forum runs in the industry, we see culture as the number one or number two challenge. And at our CXO summit we had yesterday, this was a consistent theme. The need to change the way we lead people, manage people, and develop people in our industry to be more attractive as an industry to create the best talent, but also to develop the talent we already have. Culture remains one of the biggest puzzles for us as an industry as to how we really fundamentally change the game, and it will change the way that we work. One of the hallmarks for this change, and one of the hallmarks in terms of readiness for this change to me, is diversity. Because a digital business is a diverse business. A digital business that embraces diversity not only recognizes the need to bring in a diverse audience that represents its customers, but also to bring in the diversity of thought you need if you're going to change. You don't need a team that's just used to sailing in a certain direction. You need a team that can be a speedboat and move very quickly through the challenges ahead. Diversity brings this. And I'm not just talking about bringing more women into the workforce. We are making progress on that, but we have a long way to go on that metric alone. But diversity and inclusion is about a lot more than just gender. So if there's one thing you take away from this week, and one thing you start to think about as to how you can change to drive this transformation, know that it starts with you, and it starts with diversity in the way we work in our companies. This can be a daunting topic for many people. And it doesn't need to be daunting. In fact, this week we have many sessions on diversity, many speakers talking about their own diversity experiences and a special diversity breakfast on Wednesday morning that I hope you'll join us for. So as we move into this next three years, the question everybody here this week should spend time thinking about is, am I ready? Am I ready for this change? Am I ready for what's coming? Is it happening? Yes, it is happening. We have so many companies in this room who are participating in the TM Forum and our Catalyst showcases in the work that we are doing to collaborate to change the game. Companies like Orange, Vodafone, Deutsche Telekom, and many, many more working together to deliver the open digital framework. Not just talking about it, not just discussing it and writing papers about it, building actual working code and reference implementations that you can see in the business operating system Catalyst out on the show floor. And those catalysts are using open APIs that have grown over the last few years to become the approach to ensuring interoperability and the approach to ensuring zero touch uh, partnering. There are now over 50 organizations who signed our open API manifesto and committed to using these APIs, not just operators, vendors as well, seeing the benefits for all parts of our constituency to help transform their business. Today, seven out of the top 10 operators are mandating these APIs in their RFPs and are committed to driving this change forward. It's great news for the industry and it shows what we can do in a short period of time. And this week, we're starting to publish the first analysis of where all of those companies are in that journey so that we can all keep pace with what's happening and what the priorities are for the industry as a whole. And those open APIs and changing data structures are moving us into this world of intelligent operations, enabling artificial intelligence, enabling a program in the TM Forum for Artificial Intelligence that has grown dramatically over the last year. 
Over 80 organizations are now part of our AI program, looking at everything from autonomous networks to, to transforming the customer experience through machine learning and AI. We've learned in that period there is an insane amount of hype around AI. There's an insane amount of miseducation and misinformation around it. The reality is you have to get several foundations right to even be able to go near AI, and you have to do so in a very conscious way. And to help companies do that, this week we're announcing our AI readiness check that's been developed by those 80 member organizations and endorsed by over 20 different companies around the world who've trialed this out to set a pathway of what foundations need to be in place to be effective with AI. Why are we doing all of this? Because operators need the agility to get ahead in the 5G era. And artificial intelligence, we know, will be one of the technologies that helps us to do exactly that. We're doing this because collaborative innovation is the way to move our diverse industry forward. As an industry, to compete with web scale companies and to compete with many of the new threats on the horizon, we have to collaborate. And that's why you can see here in action this week that collaboration happening. Just three months ago, the 32 projects from 146 different companies you'll see out on the show floor this week did not exist. In some cases, even three weeks ago, maybe they didn't exist. And they've come together extremely quickly around the world, working in international teams the world over to bring these projects together. So if there's one thing you do this week, please make time to visit those catalysts. And within the catalyst, you'll see a whole new set of catalysts we call ecosystem catalysts, starting with the telco media catalysts we announced last year. And we bring together here projects sponsored by companies such as the BBC, Al Jazeera, RTE, showing what happens when we bring the best of the telecom industry together with the best of the media industry. And it's quite impressive what can be done in a short space of time just by breaking down barriers between industries. You'll also see ecosystem catalysts on smart manufacturing, on smart cities, on uh, automotive from companies like Jaguar Land Rover. The ecosystem is starting to work and it's starting to be visible here this week for you to embrace. What underpins all of that is the role of collaboration. It's these ecosystem partnerships that are the hallmarks of a digital economy. Yes, it's hard. This isn't going to be easy. It means giving up old ways of working. It means changing our approach to technology. But it opens up so much possibility for the future. So let me wrap up this opening to today's session. It is collaboration that has sustained us on our 30-year journey. It is collaboration that has brought 600 companies here this week. And it is collaboration that is helping us as an industry to build the open digital framework that will help us deliver intelligent operations for a 5G world. I look forward to meeting you throughout the week. Now let me hand it over to Mark Newman, who's going to take it from here. Thank you very much.